Alrighty, so, so, so. Well, I have decided to make another rant. Um, I think I've mentioned it before. I've played video games my whole life. Um, when I was a child, we grew up in poverty. And uh, we pretty much played in the woods. We played our toys were the free toys out of uh, yard sale boxes. So basically McDonald's toys. And, uh, you know, basically things like that. Um, my dad, when I was five years old, got us an Atari. We had just gotten a TV for my fifth birthday. We got our very first VCR video. It was the Rescuers Disney movie. My dad got it for me. All my cousins were jealous and I was usually jealous of them. Very exciting. Um, the Atari, I have still my Pac-Man game. I know, really. Um, but after that, you know, it just kind of went on and on and on. Um, m myself and my two younger brothers, we just became enthralled with video games. Um, my next in line to me, youngest brother, uh, he's actually works for Nintendo now. He's a video game designer. My other youngest brother, who's my baby brother, um, basically he has built his own computer for gaming and all that kind of fun stuff. His wife kind of constricts his gaming habits, <laughs> but, um, you know, they have a PlayStation 3 and he already starting to play with his four-year-old son and pass it on to the next generation and everything. So it's kind of cool. Um, my, one of my favorite games of all time, all, all time, is this, whoops, <laughs> I guess I should hold it in this hand. This game right here. Uh, this game right here do, 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 is called Brigandine. Uh, most people will be like, Brigand what? Um, this game was extremely underrated. Like, nobody really gave it big giant reviews. It was not the most, uh, you know, played game ever. I mean, Final Fantasy VII definitely took the limelight. Final Fantasy VII, amazing game. I have that one around as well. The original, not the collector's edition. I, I have a lot of old video games. I have the original Lunar Silver Star Story. I have Tales of Destiny, Suikoden, uh... Xeno Gears, you, you know, I, the works. I, I got them all. Um, my, my, uh, basically my brother works for Nintendo. He actually has pretty much every video game system, like even the Virtual Boy and stuff. And he has a lot of the old Nintendo games that were awesome, like The Secret of Mana or uh, Final Fantasy 3, which was actually Final Fantasy 6. You know, all the originals. And then he's got even, you know, the original, original Nintendo. Like, Battle of Olympus. Oh, that game was so good. For that graphics, I mean, and the original golden plated Zelda. Oh my gosh. Anyway, but this one right here takes the cake for me for one of the best games ever. It's, obviously, I have a lot of games that are the best games ever, but this one, great. And the reason I loved this game is you get to take over the whole world. Yay, I am the ruling conqueror. And you do so by choosing some person who has an interesting storyline and you get to go through the storyline as you're taking over the world and you get to do so with like critters from mythology it's fantastic so you get you know if you are a girl and you want to take over the world with all unicorns and pegasus congratulations you can do so if you are interested in the zombie apocalypse you can take over the world with nothing but zombies if you want to, you can get like a, a mixed army with titans and dragons and griffins and everything else. But the thing is, is it's awesome because you're leveling up all of these, you know, knights who lead these armies of mythological creatures. And then they all can go on quests and get items and get, you know, better attributes and everything like that. Or, you know, by taking over other countries. But the thing is, the other countries can invade you too. Um... The storyline is completely different for each character that you play, and it is different depending on how long it takes you to take over the world. Um, also, there's also basically like side storylines for some of the knights that are in your armies and stuff. And also, I have always kept this uh, little piece of paper here because it says to play the evil empire, the Escaress Empire. You can hold R2, R1, and then press start on the character select screen and play the evil guys. So, yeah, you can even be the bad guys in this game. 
Um, I don't know why more people didn't like this game. It is definitely mostly 2D graphics. It does have a little bit of 3D, but it's like the old, like, Genesis when it had the attachment 3D graphics or like Saturn, like the early games. <laughs> so, I mean, the graphics are not the most amazing thing ever, but it's still very creative. It's still very fun. And, you know, I've, I've moved on. I still have, you know, my PlayStation stuff, but I've moved on to more like PC gaming and gaming with other people and things like that. Um, but I will never, ever get rid of my PlayStation because I've got Breaking Nine. And even if I didn't want to play Vagrant Story, and even if I didn't want to play any of the old other games that I have, you know, I would still want to play this one. And my brother, who works for Nintendo, has, on multiple occasions, tried to buy this off me. Um, I did see it once in a store for, like, $100. I was like, oh, hmm. But I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> um, a Sony, surprisingly enough, I have not seen this on the PlayStation Store as, you know, one of the retro games that you can buy and everything. I'm like, hmm, why? This one was good. Um, you know, I mean, what's the point of having the original Cold Sept on there, which was a fine game and everything, but you don't have Breaking Down? Really? The scale one, but not Breaking Down? You know, anyway. Um, but again, Breaking Down didn't get like a billion people ranting and raving about how awesome it was. Even though it's definitely like a cult classic in my opinion. Um, so uh, that's my rant for today. It's just, I like Breaking Dawn and the legend of Forsnia. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, um, that's about it.